long doorbell rings, you don't have anything prepared, have no fear. Christian Pritchard is here with appetizers on the ready that'll wow them. Dina, you know this. People show up. You, you know, you're Italian background. People yeah. just show up at the door. And I'm told from my Italian friends that sometimes people just show up and you're like, well, you have to have food for them, right? Yes, you do. Now, you know, I grew up in an English household and it was a little bit more difficult for us. We kind of freaked out a little bit, right? Yeah. Oh, no. People are here. <laughs> shut the door. Don't answer it. Shut don't answer light, it. Shut no TV. one's here. Turn off the Christmas lights. <laughs> but you know what? There is a lot of stuff that you have or you can get and keep in your fridge, your pantry, that'll make life easier, right? Okay. Things like, let's just start before we go through, like, this is um, puff pastry. And it's already in its, um, you know, parchment paper. So you roll it out. You can do savory or sweet. So what we've done is we've got a bacon and onion tart, an Alsatian tart from the north of France. It's unbelievable. Simple. Roll it out. People, didn't, they don't even know how easy it is, little actually. Right? Oil little olive oil cheese. from Sicily. There you go. Right? That'll just right. bring a little fruitiness to mm. it. Speaking of fruity and fun, we've got the olives over here Best. with the citrus. Have you ever done that with the Not citrus? Not with the citrus, no. But you see, it's a little thing that jazzes it all up. You can keep those in the cupboard or in the fridge, throw them in there, citrus, oranges, lemons, whatever Zest. you have. Zest? Exactly. Do you I've cook? Never, I cook, but I've never heard of that. It's nice. wicked because it kind of goes through that briny taste that's in the olives anyway, yeah. right? The acidic. And it's, yeah, and it's something you'll find all through the Mediterranean. It's a lot of fun as well, right? So, of course, hummus. These are frozen grapes. If you freeze your grapes, keep them in the freezer when anyone comes over. I'm talking winter through what? summer. Yeah. What? Sugar intensity, Seriously? unbelievable. Hold on, unbelievable. I've, never, I've never had Well, this one's grapes. a little bit as frozen. Here we go. Yeah, 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 yeah. Over. Thank you. The sugar okay. intensifies. So, so you can keep frozen grapes how sure. long in the freezer? Yeah, as long as you want, right? You know? Really? Yeah, why not? Why not? Come on. Who has rules? Do you have I rules? Know. I no. don't. No big deal. Now, what we've got over here, this is a great British thing. You know, people have been drinking a little bit. The next morning, they may still be there. <laughs> you know, oh, we just go, back. don't go anywhere. We're okay? not going to get invited back next week. That's year. right. <laughs> but you see, what we do in English, we make this great thing called toad in the hole. And what it is really is sausages with Yorkshire pudding surrounding it. Okay. It's pretty so much it's the like best thing ever. Bread right? and pork. Does yeah. it get any better than that? Come one on. One pot meal. Sure. And then if you have a little gravy left yeah. over from one of your meals, throw that on there too. A little HP, whatever. It's all good. Right? Toad in the hole. Toad in the hole. It's riveting. <laughs> That's Come okay. On. So That's look right. how pretty this looks. That was now, amazing. The, worst. the idea oh, of this, great. Dina, is just to really have everything ready to go. When people come Beautiful. over, everyone's always like, oh, I worked so much when everyone was here and I never got to talk to... Tara and Dina. Now, <laughs> if you leave this in your kitchen, you can do that. The stuff you can make before with the puff pastry, with the phyllo pastry, which you can get in any major grocery store, and my favorite thing, wonton wrappers. Okay, so you wrap, do you wash it with? Uh, is it like an egg wash or oil? What do you do? Well, you butter into like those little muffin trays and just sort of shape them all up. That's the way we did the phyllo. Oh, wow. That's the way we did the wontons, and then we also uh, crisp them up as well. And of course, Christinis, you can do it at the same time. I have a question about the wontons. Yeah. Can that be sweet or savory also? Absolutely. Because they're neutral. You're fairly, right. right. Of yeah. course. And you know what, uh, Tara, what we can do too is we, we put uh, all of our accoutrement outside. So you've got red pepper, you've got tapenade, you've got some Calabrian uh, antipasti, you've got bacon marmalade, you know, some spinach and Asiago, and it's all there. Easy for everyone to throw it on. Of course, sausage. You know, if you've got that so, there, salami, sweet prosciutto, and sweet and savory, yeah. popcorn, eat chestnuts thrown Chestnuts are the yeah. best. What did you do with your popcorn? What I did was it was I looked in the cupboard and said, what do I have? People are coming. I'm like, I got some popcorn. I've got some flavored popcorn. That's the caramel. I have some pumpkin seeds mm. and those corn nuts. And if, you know, if people with nut allergies, don't throw them in. It's no big deal. Just go with what you've got. Mm. You're going. Sweet. Mm -hmm. <laughs> well, you know what? Again, if those people say we've got some panettone, how many panettones do you get at Christmas, Dina? I love panettone. I know you do. I know you do. And you said, is this one fresh or is it soft? She questioned I me. I just want you to know. And you're like, this is the inexpensive one. I'm like, I love the inexpensive one. I know. Well, it's great. So, if you know, great thing to do is make some French toast with the panettone. Oh, so, yeah. you, you have your eggs? This Eggnog. Is? Eggnog. And you can throw a little bit of, uh, I don't know, something else in there if cinnamon, you want. Cinnamon, nutmeg? A, cinnamon, nutmeg, alcohol, something, you know, something to really Lovely. bring it all together. So, you just what do, you do a quick there? dip. Yep. And then you put it on the skillet. Butter in the skillet. Let her go. Yum. There you go. For sure. Bon Natale. Exactly. Bon, bon Natale. Tar? Oh. <laughs> she put it right on the butter. You. She likes her butter. That's good. <laughs> oh, just, I hope Marilyn too. Smith didn't see that That's amount of beautiful. butter I used. Calories don't count during the holidays, okay? Right. It's true. Thank you. We'll be back with more BT after this, including Jen looking at costumes, all part of Disney.